Good morning, ESM. Today is December 7th and it is a day two. Here are your news stories for today. Former Syracuse University student Jacob Cohen was arrested Friday at his house in Ohio by the U.S. Marshal Service and charged with rape and other charges after sexually assaulting two other students. These charges include first-degree rape, second-degree burglary, first-degree attempted sexual abuse, and forcible touching. Cohen is, is to be extradited to Syracuse for future proceedings. Onondaga County coronavirus cases have reached a new high this weekend with 356 new positive cases and three deaths. 267 people in the county have died since March. This week has been brutal in our fight against the virus, tweeted County Me Executive Ryan McMahon. The previous record for cases, 348, was set just a few days ago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Weather going on. There's not much happening. It's just a clear day with some sun and clouds. Tuesday, we will have more sun and clouds with a high of 34 and low of 29. Wednesday, we will have some flurries and it will be roughly the same as Tuesday. Thursday, we'll start to warm up, warm up with some more sun and clouds. Friday is Hanukkah with roughly the same weather as Thursday, sun and clouds, so it's, so far it's kind of warm this week, still a little bit cold. Saturday and Sunday are going to finish off the week being pretty warm with some rain and snow. I'm Grayson with your weather. Any boy or girl interested in joining the bowling programs this year, as of now, we will start December 14th. So sign up on Family ID now. Bowling is a very safe activity that can hopefully bring some sense of normalcy back to school life. If interested, sign up on Family ID. The athletics website has the link or email Coach Pirano at mpirano at esmschools.org. Syracuse beat Ryder last night 87 to 52. Buddy Bayheim. Um, Syracuse guard has been exposed to COVID. It is said that he'll return on Thursday. Syracuse plays Rutgers tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. In the NFL news, there were a few upsets this week um, with the Cleveland Browns beating the Tennessee Titans with quarterback Baker Mayfield throwing for 334 yards and four touchdowns. The New York Giants pulled a big upset against the Seattle Seahawks with the defense getting five sacks and an interception to hold off Seattle. There are two games today, the Washington football team versus the Pittsburgh Steelers at 5, and the Buffalo Bills versus San Francisco 49ers. Floyd Mayweather is set to fight Logan Paul February 20th. This will be Logan's second official fight ever against Mayweather's 49 fights with zero losses. 
uh, Logan has one loss out of his one fights. Um, this is not the first time a popular influencer has stepped into the ring, with Logan's younger brother fighting not long ago on the Mike Tyson card. There's much debate over influences, influencers and other non-professionals fighting in the ring, with some saying it's disrespectful to the sport, and others saying it is helping bring a new audience. That, I'm John, with your sports.